one of the biggest issues with golf courses, athletic fields, ball fields, anything that has swing joints in the ground is is actually replacing sprinkler heads that don't have the proper isolation valves. If you don't have isolation valves and every time you have to replace a sprinkler head, you always have to shut your pumps down. Whether you have one, two or three pumps, they all got to go down. All the water's got to run out of that area where you got to replace a sprinkler head. That's a lot of time lost, but the maintenance of starting and stopping the pumps every time you have a leak is very hard on the pumps. This will screw into your, um, your main line. It's wide open right now. Quarter turn like this, it's shut off. You just isolated this sprinkler head right to here and the water is gonna sit on the top of the swing joint. You spin the head off, you're just gonna lose what water was in the sprinkler head. And that's it. So now you're in a hole and uh, your hole's dry. You can spin another head on, wire it back up, turn this valve, put it back down. Now you got water coming back through this valve. If you were able to keep the pumps running, and just dig up a head, shut the valve off, all your other heads are gonna work except for that one you just isolated. Now for all the people that have swing joints that are in the ground and there is nothing wrong with the swing joints that are in the ground, we also have a riser that's seven inches. You can just spin this on, spin your sprinkler head on. Now you've got the valve where you can isolate to that sprinkler head. Time management on a golf course is huge. If you don't have the proper isolation valves, then you're gonna wait two to three to four hours to allow that water to bleed out of the system. We just replaced the sprinkler head and a swing joint and it probably took us four and a half hours. The hole kept filling up. The swing joint kept gushing water out. We had three guys digging on that hole or working in that hole. It's, it's a timely process to do it the old way. In the long run, it's gonna save them a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money once you install these, you'll find that it's a lot faster, a lot more convenient, and why didn't somebody come up, come up with this a long time ago?